What's going on in Anna, Texas? Have you heard of it? Do you know where it is? I'm going to tell you all about it and why you might want to consider making a move there. I'm Todd Tremonti, real estate broker, team leader in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. We're helping people buy and sell homes in the Anna and surrounding areas all the time. Anna, Texas, for a lot of people, is the far northern edge of the Dallas-Fort Worth metroplex or of DFW, certainly on the east side, on the Dallas side, and is the northern edge for a lot of people. Not terribly far from Allen and McKinney and some other really great areas, but it is sort of that northeastern edge in a lot of ways. So 75 North Central Expressway really borders Anna to the west. So it's kind of northeast, east of 75, north of 121. So you're kind of at the corner of two major highways where it begins to feel like you're making your way out into the country. Don't start thinking of Anna as super rural because Anna's growing up fast. There's a lot of new construction development and the retail and commercial development is coming but lagging the residential. So it doesn't yet feel fully developed at all. Uh, that's not a bad thing, though. All the essential big box type things are there, and you're certainly not far from two or three or five or ten of all those things as you get back into the main kind of heart of the Metroplex. But what Anna is known for, other than kind of being that northeastern edge, at the moment is affordable single-family residential housing, where a lot of people were looking in Allen, McKinney, maybe even Frisco, Fairview, Parker, Lucas, those kinds of areas, they're finding a little bit more house and a little bit more land up in Anna for a little bit less dollar, a little bit less price. Lots of new schools being built in Anna, kind of rapid expansion of all of the infrastructure there with road development, lots of parks. Uh, I think there's nine individual parks in the Anna area. Uh, hiking and biking trails. Again, all the essential retail restaurant that you need, but a very rapidly growing development community there where those services, recreational services, non-essential items are rapidly catching up with the residential growth. As a matter of fact, there's some master plan communities coming in with thousands and thousands and thousands of more single family units, which for most of us mean houses. And they're coming with lots of neighborhood amenities like giant lagoons, which really have proven to be a really successful development strategy in North Texas over the last 10 to 12 years, where you're talking about acres and acres of a swimming pool with beach shoreline wading into some of them with some really, really cool functionality, kind of like a little mini wave pool even. So a lot of that type development is coming to Anna and has been coming to Anna for a while. So you're seeing lots of neighborhoods with lots of neighborhood benefits, lots of parks and recreation, water slides, walking trails, dog parks. It's the edge but it's got all the needs and all the bonuses are on the way, right? You got all that happening in Anna really right now and has been happening out there for the last five to 10 years at a very rapid pace. And, and we think that will continue to go. I want to talk to you a little bit more about where we, as local real estate brokers, team leaders, radio hosts, where we believe Anna is going. If you've been around DFW for long, this will make some sense to you. If you're investigating the area, lean in now. This will be really helpful. Frisco is now fairly well known around the nation. It's where the Dallas Cowboys are. It's where our minor league baseball team and a bunch of other stuff is. Not all that long ago, Frisco could have been described the way I just described Anna, Texas. It was the edge. Uh, it was catching up in development. It was more affordable housing. You know, 20, 30 years ago, Frisco had a feel a little bit like Anna does right now. I believe Anna will follow a similar development path, but not get to the scale of Frisco. And the reason I say that so carefully is if you are looking for a really cool suburb of DFW and you don't mind being an hour north of Dallas, this is a great option for you, especially if you don't want to end up living in a really big city. Frisco is becoming a really big city. It's becoming its own hub, its own center that Anna will be sort of a suburb of Frisco, McKinney, Plano, Allen even. But I don't believe Anna's ever going to get to, I mean, it could, but it doesn't seem like it's on a trajectory to get to a place where Anna is its own big employment center, its own city center. I mean, it's its own city, but I don't know that we're going to see Anna get to the scale that other cities crop up as suburbs of 
Anna. So hopefully that makes sense and gives you an idea of where we're headed. Anna's going to get all the restaurants, all the big box stores, you know, movie theaters and recreation that a really strong suburb is. But I don't know that you're going to see 20 story office towers popping up at Anna really ever. And I think Anna's being developed and planned out from a deliberate city planning perspective for that to be the reality on purpose, for it to be a place where there's still acreage property. You could buy two, three, four, five acres. I think I think we checked just this week and that you're looking at a 14 acre property up there with a single family home on it for between two and $3 million. Well, that's not a cheap property. So obviously the land up there is already valuable. You're not seeing people buy you know cheap raw land, but you are still seeing one acre, two acre, three acre properties with older homes and new development on those acreage properties. One of the things we do at our brokerage is we specialize in homes on land as well as neighborhood homes. And Anna's one of those places that people want to move from a closer in city to an outer lying town and get the one or two acres for maybe the same price as the house itself on a quarter acre or half acre lot down in Dallas or, or down in Fort Worth. So trying to give you a feel for that community. It is an absolutely family oriented neighborhood driven community. Certainly there are singles and others outside of neighborhoods and things in the community, but that's the feel a very welcoming suburban community that is growing like crazy and a great more affordable alternative to some of the more well-known surrounding areas. Now, if you're an outdoor recreation person, Anna's a great place to be because as you head north, you're not terribly far from Oklahoma. And as you head east, there's a whole lot more Texas out to the east for hunting, fishing, boating, bike riding, recreation, and all sorts of outdoor activities with very little residential or commercial development immediately to the north or east. So lots going on in and around Anna, Texas, something you could really consider if you're making a move to the area or if you're in the DFW area and you're wanting to get out to the edge, Anna, Texas is a great option. Comment below. Let us know what else you want to know about Anna, Texas. If you're thinking about making a move to the area, contact us. Our information is below. We'd love to great, take great care of you, earn your trust, or point you towards a resource that could be more helpful to you. Share this with someone that could help. Like the video. All the things. We'll talk to you on the next one.